Auburn Tigers are 10-3 and, and are in something of a no-win scenario. The Tigers are supposed to win this game and overcome the disappointment of missing out on the college football playoff with the SEC championship game lost to Georgia. The team Auburn beat the week prior to Georgia, however, was the Alabama Crimson Tide, who are in the playoff. So how invested will the Tigers be to play an upstart group of five teams? Auburn averaged 6.3 yards per play this season. Jarrett Stridham struggled against Georgia, but played well on a year with a 17 to four touchdown interception ratio and a 66.7% completion rate. Carryon Johnson is such an important component of this offense, and he was nowhere near 100% against Georgia. By January 1st, he should be ready to go. Johnson rushed 263 times for 1,320 yards with 17 touchdowns. He only had 13 carries for 44 yards in the SEC championship game. Auburn averaged five yards per carry on the season, but it was Johnson that had 263 of the team's 598 attempts. The Tigers had nearly 13 yards per catch, led by Ryan Davis who had 76 grabs for 768 yards. Darius Slayton was the home run threat with nearly 24 yards per catch. While the offense is what we would have expected, it was the defense that stood out once again. A lot of people were probably wondering if last season was the outlier when the Tigers held the opposition to just 5.1 yards per play. Defensive coordinator Kevin Steele was clearly the right hire for this team. The Tigers only allowed 4.6 yards per play this season. Opponents collectively averaged 6 yards per play, and the Tigers held opposing quarterbacks to a 55% completion rate. Some stability with the defensive coaching staff can go a long way. Prior to Steele's hiring, the Tigers had four DCs in five years. The trendy pick on this game will probably be UCF. The Knights are in search of perfection, and there are a lot of ways to evaluate Auburn's motivation. The Tigers are far and away the best defense that the Knights will have faced this season, and therein lies the difference. Nebraska has been very understanding with the Frost hire, and that shouldn't be much of a distraction. But Frost is spending some time looking at his freshman class for Nebraska and the class of 2018. You cannot discount that in your handicapping. Giving a terrific DC like Kevin Steele nearly a month to plan for this game is a big advantage for the Tigers, and that should play out here. So our pick and prediction will be for Auburn at minus nine and a half. Click over now to BetDSI.com to get $100 free. When you sign up with the deposit today, you can get a 100% deposit bonus. That's $200 in betting action for just a hundred bucks. Start making cash right now with NFL or NCAA football betting. BetDSI.com has all your favorite sports to bet on today.